All right, we had a question I want to talk about. Is this from the homework? Is this from uh, homework nine? And it's the second problem. Uh, and it's a little setup kind of like this right here. Uh, we have two current carrying wires. Uh, so the top one is going out of the page, the bottom one's going into the page. Uh, and you're told to find the magnetic field at a point over here where this point is a distance radical 2 times d away. And uh, the setup is that these wires are both a distance d from the origin. Uh, so the first thing is you want to try to figure out the geometry here. So here's the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse in our case is going to be radical d squared plus 2 d squared. When you figure this out, you're going to have radical 3 times d. So this side is radical 3 times d. Now, the magnetic field at this point from the top wire is going to be pointing kind of like this here. All right, if we remember, the magnetic field from this wire is going to make a circle. And since it's coming out of the page, if I take my thumb out of the page, it's going to be going in the counterclockwise direction. So it's going to be going kind of like this. Uh, in this direction. And so at this point on this line, it's going to be pointing straight out that way, like we drew over here. Um, this guy's magnetic field is going to be kind of a mirror image pointing out this way here. Again, you can use your right hand rule for that one there. So it's going into the page. It's going to make circles going in the clockwise direction. So what we do is we find the B field. Okay, this arrow would be the B field. And for that, we use our equation U naught I. Uh, divided by 2 pi times r. And so what happens here is in this case, uh, you can think about these B fields as having two parts, their x and their y component. And so if you look at this picture, they're both going to have an x and a y component. And what happens is the y parts cancel and the x parts double. So I'm going to make this angle here and call it alpha. And so the trick is, is which angle in this triangle is the alpha? Well, this here is 90 degrees. Uh, and so what that means is that this angle plus alpha equals 90. And so from that we get that actually the alpha angle is this one over here. All right? And so uh, to get our B field, we want to find the cosine of alpha. That's going to give us the X component. And the cosine of alpha, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, the adjacent side, uh, beg bigger pardon, the adjacent side to alpha is D. And the hypotenuse side is radical 3d. And so the actual cosine of this angle is 1 over radical 3. So you need to use that uh, to solve this one.